Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do an unboxing of Dark Tomb, The Crypts of Alurian. And this is for one to five players. It takes about 15 to 40 minutes to play. Ooh. does not have a recommended age on it, though. Okay. So we backed this on Kickstarter, and it was, you know, a low entry, low risk. Sometimes you can back Kickstarters or, that have, you know, a big entry and then they don't oh, deliver. Oh, sure. So this is a mini dungeon crawl. So let's take a look at what's involved here. And since we do hero quests, I thought, oh, let's try this. Let's see. Oh, oh look, look how cute. The, it's so little. Yeah. These are upgraded pieces, I believe. Oh, nice. And that's one reason why you back things in Kickstarter, because if you're able to get enough people backing uh -huh. it, they can upgrade the pieces. Oh, I see. So let's take a look at the rule book here. I'll put it up a little higher. It's so, it's so little. Chambers, mm. monsters, items, chamber setup, initiative. Is this cooperative, hun? Don't know. Don't know. Character turn, movement, free action, revealing tiles. You can look at it to see getting items, passing items, dropped items, attack types, Ooh. straight line of sight, turns corners, straight attack through walls, multiple targets, line of sight. Multiple targets attack through walls. Oh. Very cool. Attacking example ro roll. <laughs> or ex attack example. Chamber turn, monster movement. Complete, completing the chamber. And then it has the terrain. terrain here. Stone walls, obstacles, water, gates. Cool. So you can see if it's cooperative. I'll look to see if I can find that. I need okay, so glasses for this. It's so small. So here are the pieces. And they do have, they're stamped on different sides here. Let's see. Yes, one to four play cooperatively. That's one reason why we probably backed that. I just don't remember. And an additional player can play as monsters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So the orange, some orange has a key on it. Some oranges are blank. Huh. So not all of these have symbols on it. See right here, this black one has this symbol. Interesting. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we read the rules. Wait, when you read the rules. <laughs> yeah. So, huh. some of these have symbols on them, some of them don't. Interesting. Then you got a, oh, I've never seen a die like this before. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's a 20 sided die. Oh. <laughs> it's a joke, honey. There was a time, though, when the first basic Dungeons & Dragons set yeah. that my brothers had, and we still have it, it's just not in great condition, Oh. Uh, you had to color in your dice with crayon. Really? Yeah, we have some of those dice. Oh, interesting. And they're pretty worn down, too. I'm sure they are. Because the first dice were full built. Uh, well, that was, what, like 30, 40 years ago? 1977, Jeez. 78. A long time ago. Okay, so we have some characters. Oh, good. Draven. Odin. Or Odin. Or Odin, yeah. Elias. And they have multiple cards. Maybe it's like their player deck or something. Well, it looks like it's their powers. Oh, okay. Interesting. So... Armor 12, 15, 14, 13, move 5, 6, 6, 5, hmm. quarterstaff, battle axe, scimitar, broadsword, shield strike, heals, stealth attack, strike back. Okay, so he has a gust of fire, bolt strike, poison dart, dagger sling. Hmm. And then they have a dash thing down here. Interesting. Okay, so you have some reference cards. There you go. Hmm. And they're they're uh, they're laminate finish. Oh yeah, they feel nice. So then I think this is probably an upgrade too. Okay. Yeah, they do feel really nice. Yeah, they have a laminate fi finish, which is a foil stamp. Mm. They call it. I'm sorry, not laminate finish. They call it. Uh, 
Gosh, I forgot what they call it, but it's basically <laughs> it's it's it's, it's uh, foil stamping. Okay. To add to dur dur durability. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Yep. Okay, so let's see some of the monsters. Ooh. Rat swarm. Oh, nice. Henchman. Linen finish. That's what they call linen it. Linen finish. A spear. Fire. Looks are these like items? It. Looks like it, because look at the colors are different. They have an item thing on the back. Transport. Oh, there are the maps. These are the rooms. Okay, so how many rooms are there? Got a deck of this. Deck of that. And this. Are these like beginning rooms? Are there really only two monsters? Guess, well, it's a, you know, it's a baby, a baby one. Unless the monsters are on the... The rooms. Yeah, I don't know. So that was the green. The green. Is it green or blue? It's like a bluish green, like a teal. It's like a teal. It's pretty. Okay. Oh, there's. So you got items for different decks. Oh. Okay. I see. So these must be traps. Okay, see how this all goes with that particular dungeon. Oh, I see. Monster. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. And the graphic design is very clear. All right, so here we have red. Okay, here's a couple of monsters. Here's three monsters. All right, so here are the three monsters for red. Ar Ardran, a dragon, and an Oram. Then you have the Oram's Tomb, which must be the bad guy. Uh, an amulet as an item. Oh, okay. These all, I don't, no, that's a, like a, a relic or something. Oh. has a different symbol than these. Iron, oh, these are traps, maybe. No? It looks like something that could help you. Maybe. And then we have rooms. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a good vibe from the design. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I don't know which one's tougher. I think red was the toughest. I think green would be the easiest. There wasn't very much going on there. So let's find out. Here are the monsters for this. Arach Arachnids, Mummy, Sargon. And I bet you this is Sargon's Lair, catacombs, and repose. Hmm. Says here. I don't know what this means. After a hard-fought battle and grueling passage through the catacombs, you opt to rest for the evening. As you lay down on the stone floor and drift off into a deep sleep, Aram creeps into your dreams. He manic is maniacal. Manic. Maniac. Manical, mania, maniacal, laugh, warns of the viciously dangerous challenges ahead. Ooh, that's not good. I think it's manical. I don't remember. Well, if I had time, I'd just put it into Google and have it. Have, have it tell have, you. Have it tell me. Exactly. So we got keys, yeah. trident, crossbow, hammer, and we have some more rooms. Okay. All right. Well, it's supposed to be a mini dungeon. It's definitely mini. It's definitely mini. Make sure there's nothing hit, something hidden. That's right. Guys, always check. Because uh, we learned that. <laughs> the hard way. From, no, not the hard way. I read it ahead of time. We, we oh. could have thrown it away. The Goonies expansion. Right. Has something hidden. All right. So that is the dark tomb. Yeah, I'm excited. We will try this first, of course, before you're on camera. And, yeah. we'll, and you can see if it's something worth getting. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.